Hello and welcome back to Mad Games Tycoon. Well, haven't we had an eventful past? Uh, you know, in most recent times, we've made eight, almost eight million dollars on Marlow Party Hangover 2, and that is the dankest game we've ever had for sure. Probably, maybe even game of the year material. Definitely not game of the worst game of the year material. But that would be just typical for me, wouldn't it? If I was the only one to release a game and got every title. Boy, that'd be hilarious. Anyway, so you know, we made a fair bit amount of money on this game. We're almost up to 10 million. It's a shame we have 7.75 million dollars in loans. And that, that might be a problem, is the thing. Is that just, it's so much money in monthly interest. But anyway... You know, what I'm thinking is now that we have this new capital, like a good business student, I'm going to reinvest it into expanding our pro plant property and equipment. Uh, anyway, because, you know, we, we gotta be able to get more money to make the money to pay off these godforsaken loans that I've decided to take out. So, you know, what I'm thinking is maybe we go, maybe we move offices a little bit, you know, just just a little bit. Well, we, we only had 238 space, clearly that's, that's not value. That's... That's getting a little bit more value. Get maybe twice our size for a few million. Still have enough money to make a game. Pay off a little bit of our loan so we don't have insane interest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know how high to go. Because what, it costs maybe 1.5 to 2 million dollars to make the game. So we definitely should save that uh, in return. We're definitely going to need maybe 1 to 2 million dollars to build... And to just rebuild everything, but we are gonna get maybe one million dollars from selling all our inventory. So I don't know this this one or this one. It's uh, it's quite this eh, 100 124 space increase isn't bad for a million dollars. Oof, this is this is a hard choice. I'm gonna have to go with old large office building. I think maybe we should have the priority of. S paying off a little bit of our loans. Well, I think there's enough space here to do everything we need to with uh, customer service and all the stuff we couldn't have in our old office. So this is a fine upgrade. We'll, we'll be able to, to take it to the next level. Push it to the limit. Uh, something like that. Okay, so first things first. Let's go ahead and get a nice old big old development room. In which corner of this giant square in the sky? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't slice this pie properly because all I can make is rectangles. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I've designed my offices all wrong. They're not very ergonomic, so to speak. Um, maybe we should put the development in the middle so that people can come and go instead of like on the edge here. Plus, you know, that gives it some room to grow. Because you know, development's pretty important. Not that we can't have multiple development offices, but uh. Something like that. So it needs to be like at least maybe maybe yeah maybe maybe make it six by eight, six by six by ten. Are we we're we're growing for the future? And plus, it's not that much more expensive to grow this thing. It's the base cost that's absolutely bananas for some ungodly reason. All right, here's this big old development office. You know, we gotta throw in the good old desks, desks on desks on discs. There we go. Oh, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh my god. Almost perfectly. Kind of perfectly. Look at that. We can get a lot of deaths in here. Nine deaths. Plus, they're very unhappy with life. What happened? I don't... Why are they so sad? I've, I've never encountered this many unhappy people about deaths before. Wow, they've all decided to work in here. Um, anyway, we were gonna have to put in all of our studios here. So research? Mm, mm, I'm thinking maybe a little bigger than last time because three deaths didn't quite cut it in researching quickly. And definitely if we want to hire more people, we want to have something to throw them into uh, with no other options. So maybe we'll go ahead and throw that right next door. It eh, probably doesn't need to be as huge uh, as... Uh, I mean, it doesn't need to be like 6 by 10 does it? That's That seems pretty big for a research office. Uh, we can probably make it a bit smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can throw it over here. I don't think it needs to be more than like 4 in width. But we can make it like 6 by 4 That That seems fair. Put the doors so that it looks like they can dock at any time. Standard stuff, throw in the desks, all the exciting stuff of building your own office. Doot, 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 Mr. Skeletal. Good calcium. Okay, there we go. 
Got five in research. Everybody's not unhappy anymore. Maybe it was just because they didn't have a place to work. You'd think that might make them happy, but you know, getting paid. They're getting paid either way. Just absorbing in amounts that I'm paying to have them work here. Um, what to throw in next? Gotta have a fairly big quality assurance. That's uh, that was pretty useful to uh, you know improve graphics and who's and what's it's. We can leave this little corner for toilets or some other garbage like that. Ah, uh, what do we need? We just we just need a regular desk, right? We don't need anything special, I don't think. Yeah, that, that's it. But, uh, this music is getting on my nerves after so long, though. I think I fucked up. I don't think this fits properly. Uh, can we can we fit one more desk in here now? Playing fucking Tetris with desks, stupid three by one desks. Okay, there we go. Got a, got that room in here. Um, what else do we need? We need that's that's not that what I'm looking for. Uh, we need a graphic studio for sure. Uh, oh no, let's go ahead and put our toilets in first because it's just gonna be good to figure out where that's gonna be hiding. There we go. Now let's put in the poopers, the pooper scoopers. Uh, I don't, I don't, hey, we only have two toilets in here. That 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 should be fine. I don't think people poop a lot in this office. I'm not gonna lie. They just, they just sort of exist. Can we just have like the most expensive sink known to man? Oh, it doesn't fit in here. That's crazy. Which way's forward on this thing? I think that's the faucet. I don't, I don't know. I, you know what? I think you're privy to a hand dryer. I, you don't have to wipe it on your pants. I'm norm normally I'd be that cruel, you know, to save whatever money I can. But you know what? We, we've got six, seven million dollars. We can afford it. We can afford a hundred dollar hand dryer. Okay, uh, let's see what's next. Maybe maybe throw in the graphic studio now. Oh, how how big was that? I know the music studio is like really really fucking big, like absolutely gigantic for how useless it is. Like really really big. Oh man, it's gotta it's gotta be more of a square than a rectangle. So I'm thinking maybe it doesn't belong right here next to development. Maybe it belongs somewhere over here. The toilets can live in their own weird little fucking fantasy corner. Uh, but that makes it really awkward, whatever space we're going to put here. Ugh, this music studio is hard to design. Because it needs, the music studio thing is like 6 by 6 or some shit like that. It's ginormous. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll throw in the graphic studio for us. I want to have something next to this development office. Maybe even a few things. Uh, maybe... Did the graphics studio have to be that big? I didn't think it had to be this big. Let's let's go ahead and find out. This is another thing I wish I could do beforehand, but you know. Oh, oh yeah, we've got this situation again where we, we just don't have room for the door. Who needs it, though? Yeah, who, who needs doors? Doors are for nerds. Okay. Uh, that's, that's two in our graphics studio. Do we, do we need to make it any bigger? I might, I might make it just a tiny bit bigger. Just maybe find a way to get three in here. Maybe expand it out one like that. Five, five by six. That should, that should be Gucci. Gucci bucket head right here. Throw in another stupid graphic studio desk. Boom, in this corner. In, in the middle of the room. All right, that's looking good. Now we have three desks in this madhouse. Um, where can we throw in this music studio? Maybe, maybe if we throw it back in here, kind of create this weird little fuckboy design. Oh god, is is five enough? I think five is enough. Maybe four? Is, no, I think five's gotta be enough. Five by six. <laughs> we'll go ahead and experiment. We can always change it. it. Makes life easier. God, these things are huge. I just want to be able to throw two in here. Uh, we should probably, uh, fix this so that it doesn't face like a dumb shit. Put one in that corner, put the other in the opposite corner, because, you know, gotta, I don't want to have to suspend my disbelief where they can't walk through doors, even though they can just teleport, and that doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. Do we have the availability of, um, motion capture? No, not yet, not yet. Okay, marketing, we may want to start marketing if we get a li little bit more money, because marketing does give you a lot of hype, it's pretty good. Uh, only problem with that is that it's expensive as fuck. Like, 
really unnecessarily expensive for this marketing campaign shit. Can we fit three deaths in here? Oh, look at that. We can have three people working right next to each other, jacking each other off in a triangle like Boku no Pico. Um, okay. What else have we got? Oh, staff room. Can't forget staff room. That one's an important one. Can't make them unhappy. Gotta build them all the arcade machines they can want. And then add 20 copy machines because they just want to photocopy their ass and send it to their neighbor. I don't know. I don't get it. What the fuck are they doing with those goddamn copy machines? Where's the edge of this wall? Is it here? I think it's right there. That's kind of annoying because it's only three, which doesn't fit a lot of things. We might just have to throw the head office right here. That'll that'll fit. <laughs> that's 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 fine. <laughs> good good work, head office. You can even have a window if we had windows looking out into the goddamn abyss. Uh, st staff room. Where are we gonna throw you? Maybe we can just have a really, really long staff room. Like an abnormally, creepily long staff room. Just to have a weirdly, creepily, abnormally long corridor here. That would be kind of, like, claustrophobic. Fucking arrows are gonna come out of the wall like some Indiana Jones shit. Man, I'd be spooked. But I'm spooked by everything, so... What do we need in staff room? We need an arcade machine supposedly. We need a refrigerator, supposedly. We need a couch. Fuck it. Long couch it is. Uh, and maybe a vending machine. Get some coffee. And maybe a television. And maybe some fans or whatever else they need later. That's not important. We don't care about the people until they ask for it. Uh, customer support. We don't need a huge customer support, I'm pretty sure. Um, the fans seem to be reasonably happy. Oh, you know, we could always use more desks. More, more, more people. Just, just in case. Just in case. It's all just in case. Okay, so. This one, this one, this one, this one. And then, and then. What? That one? <laughs> you know, that's, it's not important how that guy gets to his desk. You just gotta wiggle it around there. Uh, alright. Are we missing anything? Training room. That is the last thing we really need. We should make a bigger training room than what we had, because I'd like to be able to train more than one person at a time. Although this is probably big enough. I don't think we need bigger than a 4x4, because how many people are going to be training at the same goddamn time? More than one, but that's about it. Where's training room go? There you go. Oh, that's cabinets. <laughs> there we go. How many people can we fit in here? Two? Four? Six? Eight? Who do we appreciate? Gargle butts? Gargle butts? I don't think this is fitting too well. I don't I don't think this was the purposeful design we had. I don't understand how this doesn't fit, but apparently this room is too, too small. Too small. Okay, move it over somewhere else. Fuck it. We'll give training room its own corner. You can have the biggest training room of any video game office. Oh, it even lets me move the furniture. Um, we'll just have a weird line of these things. Because I don't see why not. I don't know, we'll put a blackboard right in front of their goddamn face. Hopefully that won't get in the way at all. Boop, 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 boop. Oop. Yeah, okay. Mr. Mister Edgelord Corner can be happy. Uh, and I think that should be it. I think we're ready to start production on video games, aren't we? We could put actual production and storeroom in, but that shit's expensive. We're going to have to wait on that. It's just, it's just so pricey. There's also, like, an added expense to keep that up every month, which is a bitch. It's a bitch. It's really just a bitch. Okay, so now that we got this shit, maybe we can see if there's anybody to hire for, uh, for maybe some office work? We because we could definitely use a few people to work in customer service. So, congratulations, you're hired into office, into customer service. And you know what? Go ahead and start a... Just, just start cold calling everybody that likes us. That, that certainly won't turn them off at all. Uh, all right. Might as well research some features. Try to get enough value to upgrade our engine. Maybe that'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good indeed. Uh, have we already created a game report for? No. Yeah, we have. Okay. Uh, what else do we need to do, or do we just start working? Work, 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 baby. Work it. I don't want everybody in customer service, you fucking madman. Jesus Christ. I wish we had more people to hire, but everyone's kind of trash. 
you know what you're hired to okay um, but we can definitely start training some people we do have six slots open for training what do you think we overall need we can go ahead and take a look at what we need uh, game design we got a couple like three people who are above 80 only one person above in programming everybody's garbage in graphics everybody's garbage in music and sound and everybody's really garbage at office work holy shit okay so definitely graphics or office work for now let's go ahead and start some office work everybody pile all up in that bitch oh can we get an award can we get an award no no awards yet S -s still no awards oh oh game of the year Marlo party hangover 2 what a fucking thug of a game this turned out to be. Plus, it's gonna sell maybe a little more. We still got a little bit of money. Maybe we can pay off a little bit of our loans. Because I don't want to be paying this outrageous expense every fucking month. Okay? We'll, we'll go. That's that's a million. Ah, uh, that's, that's. Maybe we'll get down a little more. Okay, that's that's good for now. That's certainly reduced our debt by a fair bit. And we'll, we still have enough money to produce a game whenever we're good and ready. The glorious sounds of boop, 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 boop. Oh, <laughs> Glad the game saved when the toilet flushed. Uh, Alright, so we've got that. Anything else we can research? Do we need double A yet for games? I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. But we should definitely improve on the anal punisher plus 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 okay we'll also increase the price to sixty five thousand oops okay so add that add that add that add that add that we might actually need triple a or double a uh some kind of battery something like that okay throw in that anal punisher you know what? we're gonna have to cancel that research and go for the for the double-a real quick if we want to make another game with all the anal punishers shit then we should probably be able to do that everybody is out of here because <laughs> it's not on recurring anybody good yet I'd like to hire better people than hot trash that I have to spend 20 years training to be decent because it's actually been 15 years and like one person's decent and I just can't afford to hire that much shit well that was fa fast on the anal punisher everybody's working on this work 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 good 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 one person's in custom oh they're unhappy you need more staff for your support team well maybe if they could decide to work in an area for more than five minutes that would make them happy but they this place is so understaffed uh, I mean to keep it staffed we kind of have to keep it on auto repeat telemarketing calls so hope I don't want them to take away from the development or research though that's really annoying we might have to step down on the training uh, can we do contract work here let's do that we can probably get that done as long as people decide to come over and work it you know as much as the AI is finicky for deciding what needs to be worked it's a lot better than me having to manually move everybody every 20 seconds um, so yeah let's go ahead and go back to get that cinematic music boop, 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 boop. That contract will probably get done we're just zooming by it's only been a weekend we got like 50% we're probably Gucci that bucket hat. okay um, we need to start working on our game soon if we want to have a profit we could also buy a license to maybe sell this game for more. Oh my god, the Lion Prince? Damn, that thing has a very popular. Who knew? Um, what the hell is this asking me to buy? A video game? Weird. But yeah, I mean, Lion's Print, it's cheap and it's got insane popularity and we can make three games based on it. Sequels, sequels, sequels. Cash, cash, cash. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Okay. Um... Maybe we'll finish cinematic music just to make sure that we have enough people to work on this and we'll skip out on research while we're doing it. Because uh, I'd like to hire more people, but nobody's still available. Nope. Everyone's trash. I wish people... I wish there were, like, dank HR people to work in in support. Almost 8 million. Thank you so much, Marla Party Hangover, for keeping us alive for another few months. 
We are blowing through this money real quick because the amount of salary and wage expense we are paying, it's it's nuts. I, I can't imagine how we are just, oh, oh, every month hurts. Okay, it's done. Everybody, get the fuck over here and work on some kind of game. So we're going to develop a game for the Lion Prince, called the Lion Prince mostly. Now what the hell kind of a game is the Lion's Prince? First of all, what the hell are we good at? Honestly, I have no idea what we're good at. Uh, puzzle Arcade Fighting RPG. What is in? Neither of the things we have. Hmm. <laughs> but adventure, yeah, we don't have shit here. Maybe it's a puzzle game. Maybe it's something we've done before that we can reskin as a lion fritz. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, so if it's a puzzle game, I think it's going to be aimed at children. But do we want to make it a puzzle game? You got a puzzle game? I mean, the Lion King as a fighting game would be pretty hilarious, would it not? <laughs> Simba, fight! <laughs> um, could be an RPG. That makes some sense. Puzzle RPG? I really have no idea because we just don't have enough genres that work well together. I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose pretty much anything, and then we're gonna have to go off a previous game report because I don't want to have a game fail until we can have it successfully fail and not lose the company. Uh, so you know what? Just just pick things that work that we're good at. Uh, we're pretty good at at none of these really represent animals, do they? Pets. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and do gangster pets. That sounds like the Lion Prince. Prince, you know, it's not like the the monarchy prince. It's it's more like the prince of being a thug. Uh, and where was it? Pets. Pets. Okay. Yep. Platform. There's only so many that'll work on double A. Uh, completed game reports. What kind of game do we want to make then? Um, so we've done a puzzle and an arcade game, but we haven't done an RPG game in a while. Be but that would be tough, because I don't know what I've done wrong. So do we want to make it... No nothing's really popular. If we wanted to go for a risk, we could go for an RPG game. But I didn't get any of this right, so I don't, I don't really know. Uh, but we could go RPG platformer, maybe, and just hope it sells well. Hope we can figure out these settings a little bit better and change it away from teenagers. I think I think we might go ahead and try that then. Cause I'd, I'd like to get I'd like to get some another genre that we have some knowledge base in. So throw this more towards game depth, towards the casual gamer, towards functions and game length and gameplay. Do, I don't know the exact, which is unfortunate, but that's that's about the best I can do. Can I buy better copy protection? I can. We'll go ahead and do that. Fuck off. Okay. Uh, then we'll definitely go back. What can we work it on? Can we buy another dev kit for anything that works on AA? The PlayStation works. And the... This, or this thing. They're both shit in market value. Ah, uh, boo, 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 boop. Okay. And then, so, it's not for adults if we're making an RPG. Our RPG and what went together? Platformer went together well. Uh, that seems good. I think I think adults might be more the RPG style. I don't think it's children. It might be all ages. It's definitely not seniors or teenagers. We know that. So we've got, like, a bad chance of winning this one. But at least we'll get a little bit better. Do we still want gangster pets? I think gangster pets will work out okay. Got this, got this, uh, hello? Oh, God. Um, no, 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 we gotta go back and copy the settings again. I fucked it all up. It's not for all ages, apparently. So it's either adults, children, or seniors. Probably not seniors, though. So adults or children. I'm gonna go with adults, then. Um... Is this, is this all looking right? Is this the same? I think these are the same. We just fucked up. Fucked up all this shit. Like, real bad. Copy the game settings, please. Okay, so more towards gameplay, more towards story, more towards atmosphere, more towards game depth. This wasn't in the middle in the game report, though. 
I, it doesn't it doesn't help though oh this is so awkward Ugh, I don't know where to put these things did we didn't we shove some of these to the left other times okay so this isn't helpful this we'll go ahead and copy game settings it's not quite that far maybe maybe over here atmosphere over here over here uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Is it more towards the core gamer or the casual gamer? We'll never know. Okay, we just kind of got to throw things over here somewhere and hope that it works out. We know it's on this half of the bar, so how wrong could it go, right? Kappa? Yeah, okay. You know what? I think this is the best we're going to do. So let's go ahead and choose some features. Ooh, everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. This... This game is going to take quite a bit of time and money to make. Um, so hopefully all goes well. Uh, we'll move our better programmers. Well, this guy's pretty good. We need one more good programmer from this place. That guy is not bad. This guy is oh, good all around. We could use another good all around kind of guy. What happened to all our money? I believe we just spent it. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully that'll turn around for us in the near future. Somehow. With loans. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Look at all these bugs we're racking up, man. Maybe we'll sell like 8 million copies of our engine. <sighs> Some ceiling fans would really help people not have heat stroke. Look who's complaining. Uh, fan. Fan death. Fan death. Everyone's gonna die of fan death, even though that's not a real thing. Typical Korea, right? Uh, okay. Uh, you might as well hype the shit out of this game, if we can. Not that we have a lot of money, because I paid all my loans back. That's probably a mistake. Whatever. It's still probably better, because we lived for a few months without as much interest. Uh, we should probably market this thing, too, but we don't have people to work in it. Nobody, nobody really exists to work. Everyone's shit, and I need, I need all hands on deck for this game development. And I also am out of money, so it might have to go without development, but which would really suck because we need the hype. Ah, uh, but we'd need to take out so many loans because it costs like two million dollars strictly in advertising. It's a tough choice to make. It's a tough choice. Got a little more cash flow from a game using our engine. That's not bad. Hmm. Oh, well, thank God we're not making consoles, right? Uh, we're probably going to need to take out more money. Oh, okay, great. I'm glad we got some seven technical shit. That's, that's going to help out a whole lot in the reviews when we get 50% reviews and our company burns to the ground. But you know what? Just in case we can take five, or <laughs> Jesus, we can take 6.5 million dollars out of the bank. Just, just as a backup. 